have survived 100% of the things that you've been through. That's what I be hoping people take from my story, just me in general, like you can really overcome anything. y'all well as we wrap up i just want to say thank y'all so much for coming like i feel so good y'all make me feel just so special just being a part of this moment for me and i just hope that y'all are able to take from this like to just be your best self despite your obstacles keep going and like just keep evolving because the best is yet to come not just for me but all of y'all guys welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back to another episode if you are returning what's up family if you are new here hey welcome to my channel my name is mahogany and i'm so glad that you decided to tune in if you are new here i promise you're gonna love it here okay so y'all i'm literally in the process of editing this video for you guys and i will say just watching everything from my book cover release party over again like after i've been able to live that a moment breathe in that moment experience that moment gosh it just reminds me so much of god's faithfulness and i remember when i was planning for that event and just all the emotions i was feeling and then just watching it actually come to fruition and then looking back on it it's just like wow god is so good god is so big and as i tell you guys all the time i pray that you take from my journey that despite whatever you may be going through whoever you may have lost whether you're going through a breakup a divorce or whether you're doing a, going through a hard time i mean whatever the case may be that has you down or feeling like this chapter in your life was unexpected and just isn't your favorite one I promise if you keep going, you can literally achieve whatever it is that God has placed on your heart to achieve. And I pray that each and every day you guys see me get up and you see me go, that you are inspired, that it doesn't matter what you got going on. It doesn't matter what your circumstances is. 
you all know that I'm a mom of six, a mom of six under six. And so just understanding like that whole dynamic, how I'm a mother and a business owner and I'm healing and I'm doing all of this stuff. I'm a content creator and author. You know, it's a lot of moving parts, but I pray that it encourages you and challenges you in such a way to know that you don't have to stop or limit yourself despite your circumstances. You can be all that God has placed in your heart for you to be. And don't let anybody, I don't care who it is, family, friends, people on social media, whatever, don't let anybody make you feel like you have to stay stuck, you have to stay small, or that you have to be trapped inside of this little box because sometimes people will make you feel like you have to be in a box, you know? They make you think that once you become a mom, like take for instance, the other day I went um, indoor skydiving. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go watch it. And it was such an amazing time. And it was a solo date for myself because I hadn't been on one in so long. You know, I had been working and doing this for the kids, getting them ready for picture day school. And it's just been so much going on in my motherhood journey. And then as far as like my business, I've just been, uh, and you know I hadn't really had the time to just stop and enjoy a moment for me and I did that and it didn't bother me but I'm using this as an example but someone had commented on my video and they were like you a mom you're a mom of six kids those days of doing that type of stuff is over and I was really just like wow but it's like it just shows like people's mindset and how they try to keep you in a box just because your mom doesn't mean you can't go out and go skydiving, zip lining, I don't know, whatever makes you happy. And even if you aren't a mom, sometimes people will try to box you in and say, since you're this, you can't do that. Or you can't just continue to bloom, grow, and enjoy your life because of the different roles that you may have, you know? And I'm talking about positive experiences. I'm not talking about, you know, some things that may contradict with certain things, but I'm talking about just... You know, sometimes people make you feel like just because you have a certain role that you just can't still be a human, an individual, and a person. So let this be your reminder to be you. Before you became any role, you have always been a person. And before God blessed you to be a mother, maybe a wife, or whatever role you occupy, a business owner, you first was an individual and it's so important that you pour into yourself regularly so that you can fulfill and pour into all the other roles that you may have you know i remember when i used to have like a top three and i still have a top three but it's basically a top three of my priorities whether you have a top three top five i just use a top three as an example make sure that you're in that number two i'm not saying you know you have to be at the very top because okay god goes there and then everyone has a different priority list based on their lifestyles and the things that they you know there are different dynamics but make sure that you are in the priority list because too often we are pouring into everybody else and we forget about self and i've learned the hard way that it's so important that yes be a great this a great that a great this this that but make sure you are also being great to you so that's the whole conversation about self-love that i didn't plan on getting into y'all but it just happened but i hope that you enjoyed watching the recap of my book cover release party and if you don't know my book is called i'm not the girl i used to be a guide to reinventing oneself and it's a memoir and it shares my story of growing up in a broken home without my father and things that happened in my childhood and how when i grew up because i had those voids i tried to fill them with drugs alcohol partying sleeping around and all of these things and it wasn't until i got a relationship with god that he was able to heal my wounds and my voids and as we know growth is something that continues forever you want to always grow it's not something that just stops at a certain period in your life but you always grow and so that book that I wrote shares just my story of growth how I went from all of these things that I was battling with and dealing with and how I evolved into the woman that God wanted me to be but of course like I said that evolution is continuing especially now as I'm going through this new journey so I love you guys so much I'm not going to talk so much Things that are coming up soon is going to be my podcast. It's also going to be called I'm Not the Girl I Used to Be. And I have PR and I'm really excited about it. 
And I'm going to be on a lot of the podcasts that you guys love and just a lot of the radio stations and things once my book comes out. So it's going to be a whole press run. So make sure you guys are staying tuned with my podcast because I have some amazing guests that I'm going to be bringing in and it's going to be some really, really great conversation. So my podcast isn't going to be talking about the book. It's just called the book title as well. And on my podcast is going to be other people that you guys know, content creators and influencers and some of my family members, just different people, many faces you guys know and some that you may not know. And they're going to be on there just sharing different things that they went through and how they overcame. And it's going to be just a time of inspiration, humor. It's going to be amazing. So stay tuned and stay locked in with me. That's what I have going on in this next chapter as far as my book and business. My book is also going to be available as an audiobook. I did a vlog where I recorded the audiobook and let you guys see the whole process. So stay tuned, stay tuned. And if you miss some of those things like the audiobook recording and me planning for the party and things like that. Go back and watch those vlogs. I even have a playlist on my channel called The Evolution of My Brand. I'm not the guy I used to be. And if you watch that, you'll literally see all the things that I've done leading up to this moment. So I'm really excited. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you for showing up every single video. Thank you for all the likes and just the love, the comments, the inspiration. Thank you for it all. You guys make it so much better, you know, getting up every single day, despite just the way that in the beginning of this year, my life just got flipped, well, felt like flipped upside down, but I'm so grateful for God being able to pull me through it. And then the love and support that you guys have given me has helped as well. So I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Stay locked in with your girl because amazing things are on the way. And I wanna encourage you guys, like I said, chase your goals. Pursue your passions. Live your life. You can be more than one thing. Don't let anybody box you in, limit you. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are unique. There's things that you can do that other people can't do. And it's just like you being you is your superpower. Don't ever try to be like anybody else because you're selling yourself short when God made you so unique. I don't care what you may think about yourself. Because sometimes situations cause voices to be in our head and try to tell us other things. But listen, I'm telling you the truth. And when I tell you this, you are beautiful, you are bold, you are amazing, you are unique, you are talented, you are loved. And if you don't feel like nobody else loves you, God loves you, but I love you too. Okay? This is a wrap for this video, guys. And stay tuned for the upcoming vlogs and just things that I have going on. I love you guys. Peace. Oh, 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 oh.